You will know for today's video that we built an epic habitat. The biggest habitat that I've ever built. 48 feet long this way, 24 feet long, and 15 foot tall. He's going, he's hammering, you got it. And here it is, the new habitat is complete. What is up everyone, and oh my god. Well, welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. What you heard right there, if you guys are new here, that was Rue and Rufus, my lemur kids. So guys, I'm Jacob, welcome to my jungle. And if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that we built an epic habitat, the biggest habitat that I've ever built. And honestly, one of the nicest private habitats that I've ever seen. I've been to a lot of animal facilities. I've seen some habitats. I've helped build habitats. So this is the culmination of a lot of my animal experience designing this habitat from the ground up. You guys are gonna see it from when there was nothing all the way to something. So guys, you're not gonna wanna miss this epic habitat build. So guys, if you wanna see it, well, we're gonna hop right into that. Well guys, we're over here by the new enclosure. It's a little bit loud and it's windy because it's a construction site, but you guys gotta see this. It's absolutely epic. It's insane. The biggest enclosure that I've ever built. And here it is. I'm gonna reveal it right now. And here it is. So it doesn't look like much right now, but it's actually in the work. So even from this angle right here, it's literally, it's so massive that it's impossible to capture it in the entire frames. 48 feet long this way, 24 feet long, and 15 foot tall. We're gonna have an incredible tiki thatch over the top. My lockout's gonna be over here, so whenever we need to do maintenance in the enclosure, the cats will actually be shifted into a 10 by 10 um, lockout shift area. And let's go on in the enclosure right here. So I haven't really uh, filmed too much of it, but all the poles are set. So these are 20 foot long poles set about 16 feet up high. We're gonna have to take off some of the top here, but basically we're gonna be putting sod here, landscaping it out. It's just a complete sand pit right now, but this is epic. This is what I've been waiting to do here. And we have uh, the guys working over here. They're getting the bottom footer in right now. This is actually the first footer right here. They're sawing away, getting it going. All right, I think they're gonna fire the chainsaw up. They're firing up. Go, go, go. I mean, this is gonna be absolutely epic. Right here, as you come into my house, you've got this massive enclosure for the big cats, and we got a nice little swing right here, so we can just kinda hang out on the swing and watch the cats, the guys are hard at work. <laughs> okay, so I found the one spot in the whole yard that I can actually see the enclosure. So, wait, wait, it's loud. And here it is, you guys can see it here. This is the only spot where you can see its full length. I mean, look at this absolutely epic this whole fence right here is going to get torn down we're going to have some incredible landscaping but to be able to build these enclosures is literally like a lifelong childhood dream to do this to build my own zoo so guys thanks so much for supporting me because without you guys watching these videos showing me support giving the animal support well guys none of this would be possible this whole project right here is probably going to take a couple weeks i'd say it's going to take the better part of three to four weeks to get done but once it's done it's going to be epic we're going to have an completely epic pond right over in here there's going to be a pond here a giant tiki thatch over the top guys i can't wait to share it with all of you guys so um i'm gonna hop off now and i'll be back once i got an update so it is update time um take a look at this this is pretty cool right here so the entire bottom framing is up now the top header pole is just getting put up right now so they have it completely notched out i probably should not be standing this close if that falls on me i'll probably die so they've got the top pole up now and it's all notched out so they're actually going to be nailing it in place um this is pretty cool now we're really starting to see the enclosure take shape you're kind of really starting to get a feel now um how it's going to look and how it's going to be it's absolutely epic um guys this is crazy guys um we're getting ready to nail um this is crazy you, you won't catch me up there doing that uh, thank you rico he's going He's hammering, you got it. All right, they're both at it. They're both nailing. You guys got it, I think he's almost done right now. So that's uh, 15 foot tall right there, absolutely epic. You guys killed it, good job. Okay, so they got this point and that point done. Now they're nailing in the center point. Uh, we got a scaffold, a ladder, and the two guys are up there holding it down. They're doing an epic job. And then again, this is gonna be completely uh, landscape with saw, but now you can really get a feel for just how big this enclosure is going to be. It's gonna be epic. You can see it's absolutely massive and just so cool. Okay, so we're, they're working on getting um, 
it's the last two or three vertical pulls that actually, or horizontal pulls that actually run across the top beams. And honestly, um, I'm happy I'm not up there. We got a scaffold, a ladder, and the pole over there. It's honestly, it's honestly pretty scary that this is, uh, this is not up to code. All right, it is day four of the enclosure build. And in four days, there's honestly a lot more progress than I thought there was gonna be because this is a lot of work. As you can see, this is one massive enclosure. We've got probably, I would say about 75% of it done, which is really good in four days. But right now we have all of these vertical poles up and the guys there, these guys are beasts working, getting these poles up. They're on a scaffold, a ladder, and they're just free holding these 25 foot long poles. They probably weigh like four or 500 pounds. And the span is 24 feet, or it's 25 feet from one end to the other. So I give props to these guys. They, they, they know what they're doing. So right here, you can really get a nice perspective on how it's gonna look. So the double door entry is gonna be right here. Our concrete slab is poured, so you're gonna walk in this door right here. You're gonna walk in this door, then you're gonna walk here. There's gonna be another door here. This is the lockouts, but, and now the beams are up there. All right, guys, it is day five of the build, and we are making some serious progress. So the roof is completely built, and they're starting that beautiful Tiki Hut thatch way up on the top. So. If you kind of come right up here on the underside, you can see the Tiki Hut leaves that are starting to go on. And there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of leaves here. So this is the leaves that they actually use to make the Tiki Hut. So once it's done, the leaf thatch is gonna look like that right over there. You can see that Tiki Hut on my property. And I mean, this is literally like five feet thick. I mean, it's full of hundreds of these leaves. But you know what's gonna be even cooler is when I climb up this ladder right now and I take you up there and I show you all the progress, the roof, it's absolutely insane. So uh, let's head on up, guys. This is definitely, this is not the safest to do, but we're gonna be going probably close to 17 feet up into the air. It's a little bit sketchy. It's not uh, just a little bit sketchy. This is a lot sketchy. Ooh, I... Do not like heights, and this ladder is rickety. If it falls down, guys, um, it's gonna be on camera. So let's uh, let's hope this doesn't. Okay, we made it. Look, here we are. We made it up top now. All right, don't try this at home, guys. But you can see this is the roof, the structure that has been built, and I'm on top. I just made it up here, and you can really see the enclosure from up here. Just how big and wide it is, and this roof is looking incredible. As you can see, the roof right here. It's looking good. These guys are doing some serious work and I'll give it to them. It looks great. It looks insane. But to maneuver it now, it's going to take a while. But let's try to get over to this side up right over here. They're working. So Rico's down below and he's actually uh, nailing all the palm fronts and getting them prepared. And you can see we have the beautiful angle of my property. We've got my carport, my house. We've got my neighbor. We've got my Royal Palm driveway here. And this is kind of crazy. Just being way up in here, up on the top here, we can kind of maneuver our way up. But guys, um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support because without all of your support, none of this right here would be possible. Lots of progress made today. So basically they're working up on the roof right there. Um, they're climbing up with the leaves material to finish the thatch up here. So we got 24 long on the thatch, 16 feet wide, absolutely massive enclosure. So let me show you. Let me show you it from underneath. So we have the wire installed underneath. It looks epic. And we also have the enclosure. So, so cool. I mean, it really hasn't hit me yet that this is in my backyard. And then this is gonna be the lockout area for when we need to do maintenance and we need to separate the animal from the main enclosure. So one lockout is eight by eight. Another one is eight by eight. We have my double door entry. And they're currently constructing the roof on it so they can thatch it out just like they did the rest. They're getting ready to fire up the chainsaw. Look at this, so epic.
And here it is. The new habitat is complete. It's absolutely epic. So the other day you guys got to see it, but for those of you that didn't, this is the new habitat. Been working on this for almost a year now. I mean, it's been in kind of stages where we've worked on it, where we haven't. Just because we're just building it so it's already here, but we don't really have anything to go in there just yet. So here's the habitat. 48 feet long, 24 feet wide, 15 feet tall. We got a beautiful tiki roof on top, which is gonna keep the animals nice and cool. And when you get up next to it, like I was showing you guys um, in the last video, this thing is really tall. It's absolutely epic and honestly so cool to be able to envision these things, to be able to see it on a piece of paper, but then watching it come to life with that, is just so so cool so i'm going to show you guys this is kind of like the front side right here let's kind of get this angle so this is like the front side right here and then right over on this side i didn't show you guys the front side i think i did maybe just briefly but this is our double door and lockout area so this is where you're going to enter we're actually going to be removing this entire pole right here that's going goodbye we don't want that pole here because it kind of just blocks the look and i don't want it to fall on there so this is our double door entry and our lockout area so right over here when you want to enter the enclosure you're going to come through this door and it's kind of locked so you'd go through that door and then enter there then right here this is one of the lockout areas for the cat so you're going to go in here you're going to open it on up so this door is just going to slide nice and easily and that is how the cats are going to get through and into the habitat so that is their kind of shift doors we got two of those lockouts and then this is like the main habitat area it is so so big and we're not done yet i'm actually going to be taking this back wall off and we're going to be extending it making it even bigger than it already is so there's going to be all kinds of decks and platforms here that go way up high to kind of utilize the space that's why i went so tall so we could have different platforms about you know 12 feet off of the ground have poles that run across and then this is our viewing deck area so we don't have a staircase yet but on top of the lockout area it actually wasn't even planned it just kind of happened as it was getting built i decided we're going to put a viewing deck up top so let's stop talking about it let's go check this thing out before we go up top there i want to show you guys this other side so this is another sliding lockout and this track runs all here it's actually bolted to the pole so again same thing you'll be able to shift the cats in and out of the enclosure whenever you want to go inside and do maintenance pick up poop clean it the cats can go in here so there's no contact when you're cleaning so look at that we got right there nice sliding lockout so let's actually go check out our deck so i have a little ladder set up right now because we don't have our staircase so let's go on up we're almost there and Oh my gosh, I haven't been up here in a couple months, actually. So here we are. Look at this, guys. This is the viewing deck in the new habitat. Look at the viewing deck. It's so, so cool, and it's not totally done. So I still got to add some more boards over here. This side, we might add one or two more. So now I'm able to come up top, and I'm going to have a platform for the cat right up here. So then the cat can be sitting at this level, and I can come and look up. So you can see this is kind of the floor layout of the habitat, and I'm probably going to paint this wire black so it's easier to see through. I don't think anyone has done a viewing deck like this inside of a tiki hut for big cats. I think I might be the first one to do this and I'm really excited for it. Cool. I'm literally protected by this little roof. We could actually probably put some string lights up here and then we can run the power since there's power right there so we can have it lit up at night to just kind of come up here and hang out. So right below is actually the lockout area. So that's one of the lockouts. This is the second lockout. And then this right over here is the double door entry. And just look at this. This is like so amazing how they're able to weave this and create a roof. I mean, this is literally completely waterproof. And if I wanted to get to the top of the enclosure, I could kind of slide in through there. But look at this, guys. So epic. The hard part, I shouldn't have worn sandals for this, but now we're going to head on down. Let's hope this ladder doesn't fail on us. Let's go. Oh, okay, guys. I don't want to fall and i am down and off so the habitat came together so so perfect better than i could have imagined now imagine this gone a staircase going up a bunch of landscaping around it to make it look so good so that's the lockout and double door and now really the only thing that's actually kind of left in the main enclosure part over here is this paneling section this is the only wire that's left and the reason why that this wire is not up yet is we're gonna need to bring in some big equipment to actually set the poles in the ground. We have all of the rest of the poles to kind of set them for the platforms. So that's what we're waiting on. 
um, doing that. We actually have drains in here. So if it floods, it's actually going to drain on out. We also have a drain field in here because we don't want any flooding issues. A lot of people have flooding issues, so I don't want to have those. So I put in the drains. We literally spared no expense. I feel like I'm building Jurassic Park here. And then to be able to have a pond over on this side, imagine this, the fence gone, the horse walker gone, and a beautiful crystal pond for the cats. Guys, so, so epic. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's enclosure build. Guys, let me know down below, do you wanna see more of these enclosure builds? I don't really post a lot of the enclosure builds, but if you guys wanna see more of that, I definitely am gonna be including that. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see what we put in here, how we decorate, you wanna see the pond build, well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.